Good morning and greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements in my practice where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health, to your vitality, to your well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy. I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is always a healing system. It's always a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health and nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your phone calls on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. We have lines open for you now. Try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible at 844-236-6010. If you have a success story you'd like to share, we especially like hearing those. And uh, even if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised on the program or recommended on the program, please head to brightsideben.com. You can order products right off the website. You can also check out our blog, pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com. And if you want to join the team, call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. Okay, welcome back to The Bright Side. Thanks for joining us. We're talking a little bit about melatonin, one of my all-time favorite nutritional supplements. And uh, we talked yesterday about melatonin, how it benefits the hair. Well, we didn't really quite say that yet, how it benefits the hair. But uh, we talked a little bit about what the hair was. Melatonin indeed does have some hair health benefits. That's one of the, it's one of the neat stuff side effects of taking melatonin for going to sleep. You get a better head of hair. You also get a lot of other benefits. We'll talk about some of those here uh, in uh, our next segment probably or tomorrow. Last we spoke, we said there were three layers to the hair, two in the inside that account for most of the bulk of the hair, the strength of of the hair, the color of the hair. It's in the middle. Unfortunately, you can't really get into that middle area really effectively. You got to go to a salon to do it. You got to have high heat to do it, or you have to have intense chemicals to do it. Some of these uh, home home dye products have strange chemicals that can enter into the middle part of the hair, at least temporarily. The outer layer, the covering of the hair, that's called the cuticle. Now, the cuticle. This is where most of your shampoos and conditioners are working at the cuticle level. The cuticle is like shingles, microscopic fish scales that line the the hair shaft, the outer part of the hair shaft. And these shingles keep the middle part protected. That's why you can't really get into the middle part. What shampoos and conditioners do is they work on this cuticle area so the look of the hair changes. The cuticle is where we see. The cuticle is the area that reflects light. So you can do a lot of things with the cuticle to kind of play around with the hair's appearance, and that's what shampoo and conditioner science is really all about. It's about manipulating that cuticle. You're not going to get inside the hair unless you've got intense chemistry. Shampoo and conditioner manipulate the cuticle. Silicon is one of the all-time favorite formulator ingre- uh, uh, hair formulator ingredients, hair care formulator ingredients. Silicon just coats the cuticle. You'll always see silicon in hair, uh, in uh, uh, conditioner products, and also in a lot of shampoo products. You can always tell a a silicon by O-N-E at the end of the word. Own, cyclomethicone, dimethicone, silicone. O-N-E at the end of the word will tell you that you got a silicone, and silicone is prized in the hair formulator business, hair care formulation business, because it coats the cuticle. And it's not as heavy as oil. Oil will also coat the cuticle, but it's heavy. Silicon is like a light oil. 
and it fills in the gaps and the scales. You think that does anything for your hair? No, it does nothing for your hair. It gives the hair a shine. It, silicon is shiny, it reflects light. And as I say, oils can do the same thing, although not as reflective, nowhere near as reflective as silicon, and they're heavy. Most conditioners also will use uh, silicones, and they'll also use something called quats. A quat is like a microscopic wax magnet, literally. It's a microscopic, waxy material that has a magnetic effect, and the magnetic effect allows it to stick to the cuticle. That's what a quat is, and that's, those are the all-time favorite conditioner ingredients. Silicones are up there, but the, it's the quats that really are the conditioners. In fact, you could make your own home conditioner with just a quat and water. Quats will have, if you can find a quat, and you probably get them, uh, you can get them uh, on the internet these days. Quat stands for quaternary ammonium compound. It's just, that's a mouthful, so people call them quats. You can tell a quat by the ending onium. Steer alconium. Go get your conditioner, your bottle conditioner. Guaranteed, you're going to see an onium in there. I've never seen a conditioner that didn't have an onium in it. Onium, like O N E, own is silicone. Onium is a quat, ammonium. Steer alconium, it'll say, or citrimonium, or behentrimonium. By the way, the onium means ammonia, and that's really what this quad is based in an ammonia molecule. It's magnetic, has a charge to it, it sticks to your hair, literally. And that sticking to your hair has a very interesting property. When, you, when the stuff sticks to your hair, conditioners, the onium ingredient in the conditioner sticks to your hair. That doesn't sound very good, does it? But that's exactly what's happening. It's magnetically sticking to your hair. It creates this literal electromagnetic effect in, in, on your head, in your hair. And the hair shafts all spread apart. And it looks like fullness. That's how fullness works in a conditioner. The stuff coats the hair shaft. You get this magnetic effect that causes all the hair shafts to sort of repel against each other, and you get a sense of fullness, or an appearance of fullness. And it's also, this magnetic effect is also why you get conditioner buildup. Conditioner buildup is when you have all these waxy magnets stuck to your hair from using conditioner. If you're using conditioner every day, you're guaranteed to have conditioner buildup. This is why the way you get rid of conditioner buildup is with acid, with uh, lemon acid, uh, lemon juice, which is acidic, or lime juice, which is acidic. Vinegar will get rid of conditioner buildup. Aloe will get rid of conditioner buildup. Alpha hydroxy acids like glycolic acid or lactic acid. I made a product, uh, one of my favorite products that I formulated was one that I formulated for myself. I formulated it for uh, I wanted to have a body exfoliator, so I made this body exfoliator, and it ended up being one of my best-selling products. It was a body exfoliator that was made with a high concentration of alpha hydroxy acids, really high concentration. But what I found was that this amazing body wash with a high concentration of alpha hydroxy acid made a great hair shampoo that you use once a week, or once a month, or once every two or three weeks. It was pretty acidic, so you don't want to use it too much, but it cut through conditioner buildup like a knife through butter because it was low pH acidic. You don't need a, a fancy act, uh, active type of uh, alpha hydroxy acid body wash. You can just use vinegar, ap apple cider vinegar, or lime juice or lemon juice or anything acidic. The acid has a counteracting effect. It breaks up that magnetic attraction. The acid has a sort of negative charge versus the positive charge, and it sort of dissolves, like dissolves like, and the stuff goes down the drain. That's how, uh, that's how, you, that's how the, uh, the, from a microscopic perspective, that's how the acid works to break up conditioner buildup. The main point here is that the hair, you can't really do much to hair. Anything that you're doing to your hair is mostly mechanical, and it's really not going to make any difference in the health of your hair, in the way your hair grows. Hair growth occurs in the follicles, in the tiny little holes in the top of your head in a cyclical fashion. Most people, hair will grow about a half an inch a month, about six inches a year. At any given time, a hair shaft is going to be at one or another of these different hair cycles, hair growth cycles. People who work with hair know that there's three major cycles of hair. One is when it's growing, one is when it's not growing, one are dying, and one is when it's resting. And understanding this is, is important for understanding how to keep your hair growing. We'll talk about that when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. You are listening to GCN. 
Visit GCNlive.com today. All right. Welcome back to The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central. If you miss a program, they're all archived at brightsideben.com. You can buy longevity products at brightsideben.com. You can also... You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team on brightsideben.com, or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470. They can tell you all about it. If you're interested in purchasing any of our Truth Treatment products, go to truthtreatments.com. Check out our uh, Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Serum, Truth Balm, Omega-6 Healing Cream, and we also have a blog at truthtreatments.com where I do my skincare stuff, skincare blogging. You can also go to my Facebook page, The Truth with Ben. We also post blog posts up there, do-it-yourself kinds of things, etc. And uh, let's see what else I could tell you here. I think we'll just go back to talking about the hair. Hair, uh, hair and melatonin. Melatonin is involved in all things good, really. All the good stuff. Fertility and helping with our digestive, helping our body digest foods and hair growth and skin health. All the good stuff. It's a rest and relaxation hormone. Hair grows in follicles in a cyclical fashion. We said before we went to our break, you got three major, three major steps, if you will, three stages of the cycle. They call them antigen, catagen, telogen. These are different cycles, different, uh, different things a hair is doing in a cyclical fashion. The growing phase is really where it's, this is where the action is. The growing phase, the antigen phase, that means hair health, hair length hair strength. The next phase is uh, a little short phase where the follicle, the hair follicle actually dies. And then the third phase is a resting phase. No matter how young or healthy you are at any given time, some of your hairs are going to be in the resting stage, uh, follicles are going to be in the resting stage or in the dying stage, and that means your hair is going to be falling out no matter how old you are or no matter how healthy you are. At any given moment, maybe 10 to 15 percent of your hairs are falling out. Hair on the pillow or, or in the sink is not necessarily a bad sign. Of course, if there's lots of hair in the sink and the pillow and it's not coming back, the chances are good that you're in a prolonged resting or dying stage in terms of your hair follicles, that is, and that's what balding is really all about. Even in healthy people, the length of your, the antage in the building stage is going to be getting shorter over time. That's just how the body works. Now, whether or not that has to do with how we live our lives, we don't know. But the fact of the matter is even people who keep their hair, it will usually be a lot thinner, the vast majority of people, as they get older. It's the hair follicle where you have control over how healthy or not healthy your hair will be. The follicle, not the hair. Trying to work on the hair without working on the follicle, if you're trying to take care of your hair, it's like trying to work on a, a, a flower that's not looking good rather than the soil. It's about the soil. It's about the follicle. This is just a metaphor for how the body works. It's always about the cell. It's not about what the cell is extruding. Medicine and cosmetics and the way we treat the body is about working on the extrusion, the stuff that came out. The hair shaft. The hair is just a, a, a metaphor for stuff that gets secreted out of a cell. Think about what exactly is a hair anyway? It's stuff that's getting secreted out of a cell, literally, a, a hair cell. Hair cells secrete hair, just like everything else. All the other cells in the body secrete stuff. It's this secretion thing that gets messed up when we get older. This is really, really important to understand. We look at the body and we see all the secretions. We don't see the factory, the stuff the secretions are coming out of. That's where you got to work if you want to be healthy. Not on the secretion, but the secretion making. That's why understanding this nature of cells and stuff and raisin bread that I'm always talking about, how the body's made up of cells and stuff, that's why that's so important. Because medicine treats the stuff, the secretion. This is the dumbest thing. When you think about it, the secretion isn't where the pro the, the secretion isn't where the problem is. It's in the secretion factory. The hair isn't where the problem is. It's in the follicle, and the follicle is nourished through the blood. Probably the major reason why hair falls out ultimately, and why the follicles die off ultimately, when we get uh, permanently bald, is because of stress hormones and toxicity in the blood. It's the same thing that causes everything else. 
I know I say it all the time, but it's so important to understand. 